and gentlemen, and welcome to Reality of Wrestling episode 301. My name is Brad Gilmore. We have an incredible night of action ahead. We are going to see in his very first defense of the Reality of Wrestling Championship, new champion Cameron Cole taking on the former champion, the lone ranger of Reality of Wrestling, Brian Keith. Also, the Savage King will be back in action, and we will see Jay Alexander of the Renegades of Wrestling taking on the television champion, Edge Stone. All that and more. We want to thank the nearly 350,000 subscribers to the Reality Wrestling YouTube channel. If you haven't already, go over there and click that subscribe button right now. But without further ado, let's get to the action this week on the Reality of Wrestling. <laughs> Here comes Jay Alexander from the Renegades of Wrestling with a full tank of gas and ready to go. We have heard a lot about this individual. We've seen him obviously flanking the Renegades of Wrestling, but what a physical specimen is Jay Alexander. And tonight, you see he is signaling he has that opportunity for the Reality of Wrestling Television Championship. And he's gonna need size if he's gonna break down the granite that's going to be in front of him. The Road TV champion Edge Stone walks into the World Gym Arena. That is one stone that will not crumble. Edge Stone has been on fuego ever since winning that television championship. You saw what he did at Christmas Chaos when he had to defend it in that fatal four-way action against some of the very best that the reality wrestling world can offer him. But here's Jay Alexander and the Renegade of the Renegades of Wrestling taking on Edge Stone. This is how we are starting off our row 301 episode. Edge Stone in the first of two defenses tonight. Don't forget our main event of the evening, the former Reality Wrestling heavyweight champion of the world. Brian Keith will be taking on the brand new champion Cameron Cole in his first defense. And now our senior referee, Isaac Bouillon, checking both men. There's our opening bell, and row 301 is underway. Now you see the height advantage, obviously going to Edge Stone. Size-wise, you have to give it to Edge, but strength. Jay Alexander is, isn't somebody you can just push around. You obviously see this guy spends a lot of time in the gym. He spends a lot of time training. Body beautiful, as they say. But can he go at it with now a ring veteran in Edge Stone and a champion in this company? We say it all the time. As he goes for the waist lock, Edge Stone breaking that. The strength of Edge Stone now reversing it on him. Side headlock here from Edge Stone to Jay Alexander. Picking him up for a scoop and a slam. Jay Alexander reverses. Sent into the ropes. Couple of shoulder blocks there. Canceling each other out. Newton's Law's in full effect. Jay Alexander trying to fire up and look at that. Smart. Very smart. Never mind. Never mind. Edge Stone turns right around and knocks him down. We want to thank the nearly 350,000 subscribers to the Reality Wrestling YouTube channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video, leave a comment, share it under your social media platform so the world can see the reality of wrestling as Edge Stone jumping high, swinging a miss there. Jay Alexander looking to capitalize and just gets caught in that fall away like slam position. What is Stone going to do? Picks him up on his shoulders looking for the power slam and there it is. 
He's going to go for a cover here. Cover one, two. I thought it might have been academic. Jay Alexander getting a shoulder up. Maybe the momentary delay in the lateral press from Edge Stone is what prevented the three count from occurring. Nevertheless, Edge Stone back to a vertical base. One of the Renegades distracting the referee, giving the opening. Oh, look at that, Rudy Garza. Super kick to the side of the dome. Sent Edge Stone's head into that ring post. Jay Alexander, this could be his opportunity. One, two, and a kick out. We almost had a new reality wrestling television champion, but it was not enough. It was not enough. That stone does not crumble. And now the overhand rights and lefts from Jay Alexander. You see Edge Stone having to cover up Isaac Bouillon trying to separate the action here. And now just draping the neck of the champion on that second rope. And there's the Renegades again getting involved. Running in Zagiri from Rudy Garza. They're going to steal this one. One, two, and a kick out again from the champion. Rudy Garza from the outside complained to the referee. Jay Alexander complaining to the referee. And now again, those frustration fists coming from a formidable foe in Jay Alexander. I got to admit, Stone is in a bit of trouble. He is fighting a battle one against three as the socially distanced crowd here in the World Gym Arena looks on. A little short shot to the ribs. Stone trying to do a swinging lariat, get back in this. Jay Alexander, look at the power there, and a spy buster. A spy buster that Double A would be proud of. Cover one, two, and a kick out of two and a half. That shows you the incredible resolve of the television champion of the world. Rear chin lock right here. Jay Alexander has it cinched in pretty good. You see the wear and tear this match has brought on the current reality wrestling television champion. Incredible, a jumping inverted Famouser, shades of Billy Gunn. But Billy never did it like that. As Ed Stone gets back in this thing. Referee counting both men are down. Looking like that 10 count might not occur as Jay Alexander back to a vertical base first. Ed Stone using the corner to prop himself up, but catches Jay Alexander and sends him into the other turnbuckle. Beautiful, look at the power of the champion. Ed Stone picking him up. Jay Alexander trying to fight out of it. He's able to reverse, not for long. Larry ducks it. Oh my goodness. The action is nonstop here. And a beautiful, beautiful maneuver there from the champion going for the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half. And now the same expressions that were met on the face of Rudy Garza and the Renegades are being echoed and mirrored on the face of the champion almost in somewhat disbelief, shaking his head and getting right back into it, now stalking his prey. Ready to drop that Atlas stone 
And again, you see the interference from the Renegades. A drop kick into the corner. And Edge Stone laid out on that bottom turnbuckle. The audience here, the Road Nation, trying to tell the referee what happened. I think that he might have seen Rudy Garza. And the referee is injecting the Renegades of Wrestling. They have been banned from ringside. They are being sent to the back. And now we have a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Jay Alexander trying to plead his case. Nevertheless, the Renegades of Wrestling being sent to the back. And look at that! Blockbuster! Cover! One, two, three! Ed Stone still the television champion. battle three men at one time and the numbers disadvantage that Ed Stone encountered was the same downfall of one Jay Alexander being distracted by the ejection of the Renegades of Wrestling gave Stone enough time to set it up for that beautiful blockbuster as we take a look at it one more time look at the height that Ed Stone gets and he retains the title that replay brought to you by the King of Solar Screens as you see a defeated Jay Alexander exiting the World Gym Arena. And that stone still did not crumble. Row Nation, get excited for tonight's main event. A big one with one of the competitors, my guest at this time the reigning reality of wrestling champion, Cameron Cole. Cameron, tonight, you're going one-on-one, -on -one defending that title for the first time against Brian Keith, a former road champion in his own right. Talk to us about how you're preparing for tonight's match. Russo, I want to tell you a story. This story is about a kid that started from the bottom. He worked his way up year after year, sacrifice after sacrifice. And he inspired thousands, inspired millions when he won the Reality of Wrestling Championship. No spoiler, it's not me, Russo. It's you, Brian Keith. I remember that, I was watching backstage and I was kind of annoyed because I was in your same shoes. I was working and working and working. And where did it get me? It got me nowhere. So I thought to myself, what could I do? What could I do? And it clicked. What's the difference between me and you, Brian Keith? You're a really nice guy. Well, nice guys finish last. Luckily, I'm Cameron Cole. Luckily, I'm a really, really bad guy. Brian Keith, I kicked you off your horse and I took your throne, homeboy. What are you going to do about it? You get your title shot tonight. Go ahead, bring everything you got. Because you taking this from me over my dead body. Tommy the Brute Bolton seemingly drawing the short stick like in that scene from Clue the movie. Nevertheless, he has been somebody who has been uberly impressive. And I don't use that term lightly. Tommy the Brute Bolton has progressed, progressed, progressed. Every time we see him, he is better in that squared circle. And what a statement win he could have here this evening if he's able to beat this man. Well, a man who, I don't know, is ever in a great mood, but in a particularly foul one as of late, the Savage King, who was so close to becoming the reality of wrestling champion. That would have been his first championship in this company, in his career. Oh, look at that. And the pit kick from Savage King, and we're just getting started right now. 
clubbing right forearms and the referee having to separate these two an overhand chop from Tommy the Brute Bolton going for a second one and now a shoulder thrust shades of Conor McGregor and that choke look at the strength of the Savage King just choking the life out of Tommy the Brute Bolton and look at that throwing him right over the top of his head Savage King was so close he, he thought he was going to have a one-on-one -on -one match inside the steel cage with the former champion Ruthless Ryan Davison at Christmas Chaos. That did not occur. It was a triple threat match instead, and neither he nor Ruthless Ryan Davison walked out as the champion. That is Cameron Cole, the brand new road champion who makes his first title defense immediately following this match in our main event of row 301 as Tommy the Brew Bolton tries to get back in this thing with a swing and a right and a ducking of the line. And now a shoulder thrust of his own. Hooking him, oh, and just a suplex right into those turnbuckles. You saw the neck bend in a way that is not meant to. breaking of the back. Has him in a vertical suplex. Tommy Bolton trying to kick out of it. Couple of knees, able to reverse it. Now, cover schoolboy one, two, and a kick out. What a win that would have been for Tommy Bolton. Tommy Bolton finding a way back in this and a big kick to the back of the head to the Savage King. Oh, look at that sit down scoop slam from the King, cover one, two. Tommy Bolton with a shoulder up, that left shoulder getting up at about two and a half. And now Savage King just sending the cabeza, the dome piece of Tommy Bolton into the mat repeatedly. And I would be afraid if I were the referee. This is a man who thought he was going to be the first ever undefeated champion in this company's history. Not able to get the job done. He was too preoccupied giving the boots to Ryan Davidson. They didn't see that Cameron Cole who they thought was perched up to make some massive superfly snooker-like move off the top of the cage, ends up just turning around and going to the ground and winning the championship in the main event of Christmas Chaos. <clears throat> A left knee going into the midsection, the solar plexus of Tommy the Brute Bolton. Another chop there. Swing and a miss, sending the Savage King over the top rope and to the floor. Is this the opportunity that the Brute needed? Senton off the apron, knocking the King down. They can all the King's horses and all the King's well. I was going to say, could they put Savage King together again? Obviously they can as an Undertaker-like sit-up from the Savage King. But now Bolton smelling that this might be his opportunity. Oh, headbutt to the Savage King. Draping him over the top rope with a guillotine. Springboard, clothesline, but not even knocking the Savage King off his feet. Oh. And a 
kick out after one. <laughs> An immediate kick out from the Savage King, Tommy Bolton, can't even believe it. King now back into this one. Signaling this may be the end. Oh, look at that! I don't even think Tommy Bolton is conscious here. No. Referee calling for the bell. The referee is calling for the bell and the Savage King not breaking the hole. Referee can count all he wants to. This match is over. The Savage King. Oh my God, somebody stop this. Tommy Bolton may need to be transported to a local medical facility. Wait a minute. Savage King. Savage King just took out the referee. The referee has been taken out. Tommy Bolton has been taken out. What have we just witnessed here on row 301? Hello again, Row Nation. Chris Russo standing alongside the reigning Texas champion, Will Alday. Will, any updates on your status at this point? Yeah, Chris. You know, you know, as everybody knows, I uh, I had a pretty bad injury that it's kept me out here for a little bit. But um, you know, tonight Will Alday is medically cleared to compete, and and you know what? I'm so happy because I'm so sick and tired of sitting on the sidelines. I want to play. Put me in, Coach. Give me the ball. You know, I hear, I hear that there's a new champion in town, and, and I hear his name is Cameron Cole, and, and I want to say a big congrats to Cameron Cole because, you know, he's, he's a buddy from the past, you know, I know he's worked his ass off, I know he did it with style, he did it with panache, he did it in the only way he knows how, running away. You got the job done, Cam, but now that daddy's back in town, he's going to show you exactly what a champion is. He's gonna show you how to do it. He's gonna show you how to get the job done no matter what. Because Will Alday is that damn good. Will Alday is that guy. You know, I'm gonna put out an open challenge just to show you what a champion truly means. So anybody that gets in the ring with me, just know that at the end of it, I'm gonna be kicking your damn head off. All damn day. Warren Johnson. When I stood across the ring from you and stared into your eyes, I could see a vast intelligence, an aptitude for leadership. However, how could a great leader make such a stupid decisions. Your renegades are offensively unintelligent. And just when I thought that they couldn't dig themselves any deeper, they reach bounds that I thought were unimaginable. What's unimaginable to me is the renegades have men like J. Alexander, Dexon, Raleigh, men that are the size of monsters in any other ring. Yet it takes a weapon for you to put one of us down. 
Renegades, you are on a path of destruction and that path towards your statement has now walked its way into the house of Legion. Unfortunately for you, Renegades, we just locked the doors behind you. For over 13 years, the king of solar screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circle? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55. $55. Any size, any color, install free. The king of solar screens, on time, every time. Now can you dig that, sucker? Hello everybody, my name is Brad Gilmore and we are mere moments away from our main event this week on the reality of wrestling. We were all shocked and amazed to see Cameron Cole, who wasn't even initially scheduled to be in the championship match at Christmas Chaos in that triple threat steel cage. He wasn't even scheduled to be in the match. Booker T adds him in. Ryan Davison takes the L. Cameron Cole, your brand new reality of wrestling champion. And his first defense, he's going to take on somebody who took Roe by storm going from 2019 into the early parts of 2020. Brian Keith, the former reality wrestling champion, the former reality wrestling television champion, the man who actually took the title initially off the same person that Cameron Cole took the championship off of, the bear, Ryan Davidson, the first ever Grand Slam champion in this company's history. We are going to see if Cameron Cole got lucky or if Cameron Cole got the goods. We're going to find out right now in his first defense. This is the main event of Reality of Wrestling. for the opportunity that might only come for once in a lifetime, but his situation a little bit different. Brian Keith has the opportunity to reclaim gold here in the reality of wrestling. champion, former reality of wrestling television champion. Cameron Cole now joins the short list of triple crown winners here in reality of wrestling. And we will see though if he can be successful in his very first defense of that title. Cam Cole differs from a lot of people that we've seen in this position. He has championship experience. He has successfully defended a championship before in his career. This is not an abnormal situation for him. The only difference between Cam Cole then and Cam Cole now is his match is occurring last on the run sheet. He is in the main event. This is the only thing that Cameron Cole 
has to get used to, has to get ready for, and has to get prepared for. And what a hell of a challenge it is to have somebody like Brian Keith on the other side of the ring to really prove your medal, to show that you have earned your spot and deserve to be the champion of the front row of sports entertainment. Be champion of the flagship of Texas wrestling. You have to go through the Lone Ranger of the row, Brian Keith. Brian Keith, great reversal. Fireman's carry. Has control of that left arm of Cameron Cole. These two familiar with each other have trained together. Going back to the WXF gym. It was manned by Booker T. All the way here to the Reality Wrestling Training Facility. These two are very familiar. And that's going to be part of their game plan. Part of their game plan is going to be trying to implement maybe some innovative, innovative offense that their opponents have not seen before, have not been exposed to. Roll through there from Brian Keith. Again, control of that left arm. Has Cam by the wrist. Cameron Cole rolls through. Looked like he may have been going for a Northern Lights suplex there. Has the waist control of... Brian Keith, Brian Keith expertly slipping in that left arm, gets his shoulder through the grip of Cameron Cole, and now reverses the hold. Cam Cole stepping on the right foot of Brian Keith. Brian Keith rolls through. Great back and forth. Can we get a rodeo this early? Cameron Cole, wow. Cameron Cole almost found himself in a position he'd justifiably rather not be in to quote the Machu Men. But good scouting there from Camp. Camp pie facing now. Brian Keith, the disrespect for bad attitude. Cam Cole. Oh! Right hand chop to the chest. Swing and a miss from Brian Keith. Cameron Cole looking for a single leg takedown. Brian Keith stuffs the takedown. Cameron Cole checks the leg. Oh, this is beautiful right now. Beautiful back and forth wrestling from these two. Cameron Cole looking for a suplex. Brian Keith shifts his weight, gets a cover one, and a kick out. Oh, and now the kick to the upper back and the lower part of the neck. Brian Keith stinging Cameron Cole on that one. And Cam Cole's asking for a timeout. A little T.O. action. Remember, he has the champion's advantage in this situation. If he is counted out, if he is disqualified, he remains the champion of the world. And wait, hold on. It looks like Cameron Cole <laughs> looked like he was about to leave. Brian Keith gives him a big boot and intercepts the championship. Gives it back to our timekeeper. Wow, what an incredible move there for Brian Keith. Let's go to the replay on that one right now. Brought to you by the king of solar screens. Cameron Cole looking to hightail it. Brian Keith, boom! And an interception of the road championship. Tom Brady would be proud. As back to the action, Brian Keith almost going to that turnbuckle or that ring post, excuse me. And he does. The left forearm wrapping around backward. And now right back to work on it. Pulling, stretching on the labrum in the rotator cuff. The bicep, the tricep of Brian Keith and throws him back into the squared circle. Brian Keith in an unenviable position here about midway through this contest. Oh! Cover one, two, and a kick out. Cam Cole holding on to the now wounded left arm of Brian Keith. Brian Keith trying to fight back. And look at that. Beautiful. From Cam Cole, the reality of wrestling champion, taunting the crowd, going for the cover, kick out after two from the challenger. Now Cam Cole with a little bit of mind games to the cruiserweight cowboy, Brian Keith. Right hands, right fist to the back of the head. Referee Isaac Bouillon getting up to a count of three or four there. But really, nevertheless, we've already seen that Cam Cole is willing to win this match by any means necessary. Keeping that Reality Wrestling Championship 
is priority numero uno for the man from Santa Monica, California. And Brian Keith's left arm pinned behind his head. Trying to find a way out of it. Brian now getting back, planted on two feet, turning his hips, putting some force behind those shots to the ribs. Cam Cole now biting. Cameron Cole is biting Brian Keith. What in the hell is that? He is biting Brian Keith, going back to that by any means necessary that I spoke of before. Cover one, two, and a kick out. Interesting battle between these two men and Cam Cole. Just really focused on that left arm and wrist of Brian Keith. Brian Keith, though, went for fireman's carry position. Look at that. Beautiful from Cam Cole. Cover one, two, and a kick out after two from Brian Keith. Cam Cole now jaw jacking with our senior official, Isaac Bouillon, who has the most trusted three count in all of professional wrestling. A two and maybe a quarter there from Cam Cole to Brian Keith and now stepping on that left arm and look at that. I know that this, Brian Keith knows this could be his final opportunity for the foreseeable future for the Reality Wrestling Championship, but you also have to think about survival at some point. That arm has taken a toll. Oh! Boots up, Cam Cole had a scout and looking for an elbow, nobody's there. Brian Keith! Oh! Brian Keith! Brian Keith with a side effect. Brian Keith with the side effect. Oh. Brian Keith, what's he doing here? Look at that. A moonsault sunset stunner of some kind. Whatever you call it, kick out after two from Cameron Cole. That's the thing about the reality of wrestling roster. Sometimes they implement offense that no one has ever seen before. So you're not even sure as the broadcaster what you're supposed to call it. Nevertheless, it put Brian back in the driver's seat. Fireman's carry position. Cameron Cole looking for that top rope. Holding on for dear life as the champion. But I have to give Cameron Cole the utmost credit. He has looked phenomenal. Look at that. A code breaker. Cover one. Two, two and a half from Brian Keith. How in good God in heaven's name did Brian Keith kick out of that one? The fight out of the man from affectionately called Guns Point, Texas. Showing that he still has some firepower left. Cam Cole still control of that left arm, which has been the story of this altercation between the two. Oh! Super kick! Super kick from Brian Keith! Can he capitalize? Can he capitalize? Looking for that double arm. Look at that. Looking for the double arm DDT. That left arm gave way. Single leg. Cover. One. Wait a minute. Cameron Cole looking to use that second rope, the middle rope for leverage. Now shoving the referee. Cam Cole wanting to retain the championship, but at what cost? Oh! Fastest kicks in the south in action. Swing and a miss again from Brian Keith. Reversal, DDT! DDT from the challenger. Wait a minute. Rotating the hips, and now he's looking for the rodeo DDT. Planet Cameron Cole's forehead right into the center of the mat. Can Brian Keith capitalize? Can he capitalize? Cover one, two, and the foot on the rope from the champion. Incredible ring awareness from Cameron Cole. Wow, that would have won any other contest that Brian Keith found himself in, but Cameron Cole had the great ring awareness, great ring positioning from the champion who now rolls to the outside in order to get a breather. Now, what is he asking for? He's asking our... our Timekeeper again for the championship. Oh! 
Cam Cole was trying to hightail it for the second time. Ryan Keith brings it back in. Cam Cole lands on his feet. Ryan Keith shifts his weight. Cover one, two. Cover one, two, three. And he had the tights. He had the tights. Cameron Cole retains the championship. By whatever means it needed to be, Cameron Cole is successful in his first defense of the reality of wrestling championship. With a smile on his face, he goes home and extends his reign as the main man in this company. For our executive producers Booker T and Charmel Huff and for our director Kevin Bernhardt, my name is Brad Gilmer. We will see you next week on the front row of sports entertainment. We will see you next week on the reality of wrestling.